hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so i've just finished filming this is why it's messy i've just finished filming my finished pages for the month and i did mention in that video about the new storage system that i did purchase off amazon don't mind the dog balls i've got two doggies behind me they are underneath the two hours like to hide under blankets anyway so this is a nine drawer storage container now previously i was using two of these now this doesn't stay there now so i've got more room to walk from the front room to the dining room this gets gets stored just behind me and i just put my finished pages and stuff in there and i've got stickles and hair dryer and bits and bobs and pdfs and all sorts so i do need to sort all this out and there's my distress seats my filming stuff is still all set up not tied it up yet but i wanted to share this I think this is a steel off Amazon, it was about £80 and it holds so much. My idea with this is I got it to hold paper because I've started accumulating quite a lot of paper and unfortunately I didn't look at the dimensions of the drawers because <laughs> the paper doesn't fit. But in hindsight I've managed to take everything out of my boot shelf and underneath and just managed to organise it a bit better so I can see what I've got now. I can if anything i'm pro probably going to label these up as well i think okay, i'm going to do this little storage container as well this wooden one again was off amazon it was about 20 pounds and it holds gel pens fire liners white gel pens paint brushes all my nice paint brushes that are more expensive ones i do just keep over here but you've got inks i've got a hand sanitizer that i got from america that my husband brought me back I've got my Blue Yeti microphone. I've got a boot that I borrowed off my niece that I've not even started yet. She's going to tell me off. But me and I like the same sort of boots and programs. So I've bought a boot myself that I've not started. Not to me. This is a solvent. My waters. All my other gel pens. Sharpeners. Loose odds and ends that I need on a daily. Kirsty from Kirsty Colour and Sketch bought me this. It's a bit mucky now, but I do use it every single day for my brews and my glasses of wine in the evening a little coaster little odds and ends in here that i need all the time next to me and i'll just go through the drawers now i'll just move this out of the way and it does look this is tidy compared to what it was i promise you i'll keep all my different papers now underneath the odds and ends in here neo color twos distress inks all my pencil cases are now stored underneath there i do apologize if you get seasick a couple of diamond painting bits and bobs uh, right so I'm going to take a seat and let's just start off so I've got odds and ends in this one basically that cream <laughs> my swatch chart the dinosaur one that I made myself hand cream old phone cards and stuff that I've got from companies palettes that sort of thing I think I'll just stick to doing it on this side for now. So we've got everything to do with watercolour in here from masking tape from different applicators, uh, spritz bottles, medium solutions, you know, there's palettes, there's big paint brushes, old rag that I use all the time. We've got all that rattling that you can hear is this my chopping board, cut chopping board, cutting board. Chopping board. I definitely don't chop food on that, don't worry. <laughs> it's my cutting board. My Tim Holtz one. All my pan pastel things are in here. All the different trays, the fixative, all the different tools, spur masking tape. In here, we've got the other zest it because I've got nowhere else for, for it to go, but it's similar to the Olderless Mineral Spirit. Charger from the laptop. I'm talking about laptop, everything that's computer. Oh, filming is in this drawer with all my Pokemon Eevee stickers and then we'll go from the bottom to the top this one is mainly backups apart from this so I've got backups of Prismacolor just at the back I've got uh, pastels the Jane Davenport colour sticks Derwy ink tents these are things that I bought that were so so cheap when when I ordered them it was silly me not doing knowing that I would go through these things same with this drawer, backup masking tape that I use on the daily. Some backup polychromos, Prismacolor, all that. This drawer is all, well, most of it is dedicated to diamond painting, so this is one that I'm working on at the minute. 
gelatinols per pencil case. We've got odds and ends in this one, the Bambino crayons, which are really, really nice. They're really nice, then. I need to test them out on different things. So, glossy accents, glitters, there is just all sorts. All of my stickles I do keep in a nice container. I'll just show you. Just here, all upside down to make it easier. And again, more tape. I'm a bit of a tape hoarder by the roots of it. I think when I see them cheap, I just buy them knowing that I will use them. We have in here, I did have a container from my alcohol markers, but I've changed that up. But all of my Copics are behind here, so they're all underneath there, with someone's Renewton brush markers, some Lamouchier ones, some, what are these called now? The Spectrum Rice Sparkle inks, which basically, these inks are the same ink that's what in the pens, that's in the pens. Now, if you're using these for small details are perfect, but if you want to do a larger area, go with the inks, they're very nice. And the Jane Davenport colour, not colour sticks, the mermaid markers, very, very nice. Brilliant for doing different techniques with backgrounds. In this drawer, we've got just mediums, fixative sprays, blues, gessos, you know, all the odds and ends, all the things that I, I need. <laughs> not need, I use, wrong word. The makeup brushes that I use for the Distress Inks, that's why it's all messy, the bag. There's just all sorts of different shapes, sizes in that bag. The Karen markers, that I treat these more of um, like watercolour brush markers. I'll colour onto a palette and then pick the, the colour up from the palette. I don't particularly like colouring straight with them because they are quite streaky. If you use them like that, they are really, really nice. I was looking for this in the other video. I put it in the wrong drawer. Wrong drawer. It needs to go in this one. This is the Distress Collage Medium. And I was talking about this in my finished pages and I couldn't find it because I put it in the wrong drawer. Some more medium stuff here. Some blue shell powders, glues, my little pocket wheel just so I can colour reference. My favourite acrylics. And I was looking for that in the video as well. Why on earth? Is it there? It should be on my counter. But these are all my favourite ones. I like to use the Americana Black and the Americana Deco Art in white. Uh, yeah, there's just odds and ends. And these next two drawers are all watercolour. So we have, without me spilling it everywhere, we've got four of the Prima watercolour palettes. Some blue masking fluid, and I don't like this. I really, really don't. I don't know why I've kept it. Bit of a hard about each of it. I've got some white gouache, the little skin palette. Now, am I going to be able to do this with one hand? Yes, I am. Proud. The little skin palette, it has crumbled quite a bit, but once you, you've mixed the colour and you've mixed it onto the palette and pop it onto the paper, they're really nice. They do look quite dry and crumbly. My tube of the Paul Rubens. My Winsor and Newton palette is behind me on the table drying because I was using it only last night. So it is out being used. Uh, what are these ones? These are the Paul Rubens, the big one. Paul Rubens, oh, I can't take everything out of here, there's all sorts. But there's gouache, metallic watercolour paints. And then apart from that, I've not really changed much else. I keep all of my, it's a little bit darker down here. But all of my Etsy watercolours, I keep in this little drawer, all my tutorial boots. That drawer's on the top at the moment, my nail colour twos. Like I said before, all of my papers are here. All of my different brands of pencils are here. Now I've got my Prismacolor and Walsh shoes. I've got stuff that I need on the daily. Wires, charger wires. Lumoucher markers or Hoo Hoo markers. And then I just will show you, it is a little bit more organized. I've got my little tripod that I use occasionally there for streaming. And I have to have my Simba mug on display that I brought back from Florida because I love it. Usually I've got gel pens or something in it, but it's empty now. Kirsty brought that as well for my birthday. Really, really cute. My little Call Me Stress Free sign. It's funny that I never ever say my name in the channel. Never ever. Uh, my dog's laser pen that she loves. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say the name. It, it's. I'll put it in the description down below, but if I say a certain word, she goes mad for it. So I'm not saying that word. <laughs> yeah, and that's just where I keep the majority of my boots now. Not overly organised. I don't know why that one is. 
like that. And then we'll not talk about the mess at the top because it's diamond painted and glitter and all sorts and stuff when I'm not feeling well. But I'm really happy with this space now that I've managed to accumulate over the last 18 months. And I still love, 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 love this picture. But I hope you enjoyed this a little bit more up to date where I'm working, my desk space. Now let's get time to tidy up. Yeah, let's tidy up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.